23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Brenna Rose. Here's a look at what we're following today. Californians will decide the fate of Governor Gavin Newsom. Eligible voters will be faced with two questions. The first is a yes or no question and asks if Governor Newsom should be recalled as the governor of California. The following is who should replace the governor if he's recalled. There's 46 candidates in the running. If more than 50% of voters decide to recall Newsom, the candidate that has the most votes will replace him. That person just needs more than everyone else and does not need to have a majority of votes. Ballots can be cast at the elections office or any polling site until 8 p.m. tonight and mailed no later than today. You'll want to bring your ID and your ballot if you have one. If you don't know where to cast your vote, that information is actually listed on the back of your ballot, or you can check the election's website, kernvote.com. And in other news, take a look at your screen. This is 93-year-old Thomas Lee. He was last seen in the 7,000 block of Alcorn Street at 7.50 yesterday morning. Police describing him as an Asian male, 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing 100 pounds with gray hair and brown eyes wearing a black and white shirt with stripes and light blue athletic pants. Anyone with information on where he might be is being asked to call BPD. And here's Elena with a check of your forecast. All right, so there it is. All of the gray is that smoke that is still plaguing the state and a lot of haze here on the valley floor with our typical smog. This low pressure system is weak. It's sitting off the coast the next couple days, hoping to contribute to a weak onshore flow that keeps us just shy of the hundreds, but it's still hazy up in the Kern River Valley. It's still smoky and it's still dry out there. So with 97, that's above average, but we're going to see that temperatures go down a little bit day by day for the rest of the week as that onshore flow gets stronger, especially Thursday into Friday and again with a deeper trough cooler Canadian air coming our way. So that means by Sunday 84 we haven't been in those mid 80s since June three months ago. So in Isabella 90s for you through Friday Tatchby Fridge Park 80s until you get those sunny 70s this weekend. And that's your news and weather update. Have a great day.